show you how to use paint.net to delete the background away from a photo and then paste it into another image. So here I have an image of an eagle with a fish in its claw and an image of an iceberg. Now these are probably two things that don't go together very often. Uh, eagles don't live that far north or far south if they're going to run into icebergs. So I find it kind of funny, unique, different, and I'd like to put them together and have it look pretty realistic. So here's what we're going to do. To delete the background out of this photo, I need two tools. I need this one right here called the magic wand tool, and I need the eraser tool. Both of these tools will allow me to very easily delete out the background of this photo. So let me click on the magic wand. Now when you click on the magic wand you have to pay attention to this thing up here called the tolerance. If I turn my tolerance the whole way up and I click here it's gonna select the whole photo and that's too high. If I click down here and I make it like two percent it's only gonna select pixels that are exactly the same color as the pixel I've selected. Now pixels can be similar um, but there are very few that are identical. So if I click here at like 21%, you can see it grabs a lot more of that background. But since I have such a contrast between this dark wing and this blue background, I can probably raise this a little bit. Just watch what happens as I raise the tolerance. That's the amount of pixels it allows to grab that are close to the one I actually selected. As I click higher and higher, it's going to grab more and more things. That's pretty good. You can see I'm grabbing almost everything around that eagle without even having to get close. The only thing I want to be careful of is that I don't select anything that is the eagle. Wow, look at that. That's really great. Uh, I'm going to go with that right now and I'm going to press delete. Right there. Bam! I've gotten rid of all of that background. Now, this area around the eagle, I still have a little bit of blue. So, let me zoom in on the eagle. There's a little bit of blue around his back. Do you see it? I don't want that. I want to get rid of that. Let's see if I can. I click there with the select tool. Delete. I've gotten rid of it. There's a little bit right here. I, I tend to be pretty picky, so I like to get close and delete these kinds of things out. But a lot of this actually, in the end, you're probably not going to notice it that much, especially when when things get, you know, when we make this equal smaller. See now, with 39%, you can see I, I selected this little blue area, but since the colors were close, blues to grays, it selected this area in here, and I don't want that. So let me turn my tolerance down. And when I do that, you can see the difference. Now that looks pretty good. It's grabbed everything around the wings, but not into the wings. Let me press delete. Let me do that right here. Ah, tolerance is pretty decent. And I'm just going to continue to grab these areas and delete them. Once I have all these major areas deleted, a little bit right here still, let me get rid of that, a little bit right there, a little bit right around the claw, and this other foot, oh that's the fish's tail. Now let me zoom out a little bit and you can see I've got a I've done a pretty good job. Just using that magic wand tool with a couple clicks, I was able to get rid of all of that background. Now I want to use my eraser tool. I'm going to select the eraser tool and first I'm going to make the eraser tool the the brush width of the eraser tool pretty large. So I can just come in here and very easily delete out all this this stuff around the sides. Now I don't see much around the top. And then I'm going to zoom in. Don't be afraid to get close. The closer you get, the better your images will be. Um, now, since I'm zooming in, my brush size is way too large. You see there? Now I can go. I've got a little, blue, little bit of blue right there, a little bit of blue right there. Here I can get rid of a little bit. Let me come down here to... Oop, there's some. It's just really... Oop, 
I took a little bit out of him. So let's say I make a mistake, and oops, I took out a large part of the bird. I don't want to do that. I'm going to press Control Z. Control Z is undo. It's a really helpful keyboard command. Most of the things you do on the computer has a have a keyboard command, um, and if you if you learn them, you can be more efficient at what you do. So let me come down here and make sure I get rid of all the here yeah, here some of this small stuff. I need to get rid of these little dots. I can do that with with the eraser tool. And I'm almost done. A little bit right here. Sorry to make you sit here and watch me erase all of this. I'm trying to be fast, but this is not the fastest kind of work. You, you know, I'm not taking too much time, but still more time than you want to be sitting there watching me do it. But when you do it, you want to make sure you take your time if you want a good image that is okay now I'm gonna say I'm done I could be more picky but I'm gonna call it quits there I'm going to select the area that I want to copy I've got all my areas selected I used the selection tool rectangle select I'm going to go edit copy and actually if you see here it gives you those commands. So control C is copy, but you can use either one. I'm going to click on my iceberg image and I'm going to go edit paste into new layer. I don't just want to paste, I want to paste it into a new layer. There we go. I've got my eagle. He's a little bit big Ooh, I can turn him. Actually, I like him turned a little bit. Makes him look cooler. But let me grab the end. Now we have one little problem with this image, and that is the photo does not include the tip of that wing. So, wrong button. Once again, wrong button. Let me grab. Come on now. <laughs> I'm just trying to move him up. Let me grab the corner. And then I have to position him. I don't want to have him too thin. He doesn't look real. I don't want him too wide. He doesn't look real. You want to try to match it to what the image actually looked like. And if you want to go back, I can click over here and I can see. I've turned him a little bit, but I would say that looks pretty good. I like that, what, I see, what I'm seeing right there. It looks like an eagle flying around a glacier with a fish in its claw. I'd say that's pretty close. So, I think I'm done. I'm going to go File, Save As, Eagle, and Iceberg. Maybe I should call him Titanic Eagle, but probably not. Now, since I'm finished, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to save it to my folder called out of place the eagle is not long there save okay flatten my image and I am done I now have an eagle in front of an iceberg well that is all for this lesson I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful thanks for watching I'll see you next time